So next, uh, we have uh, Evan Lee from 7.1 to present. So Evan, please introduce yourself and continue our presentation. Thank you. Hello, uh, my name is Evan. Uh, I represent uh, 7.1. So everybody knows that the world is aging and that, uh, that the problem will last for at least for 30, 30 plus years. And we are a digital healthcare company for this aging world. Um, so we provide essential care solutions for depression and uh, dementia. So we have uh, two solutions at the moment. Uh, the first solution is the pre-hospital solution. So before they come to the hospital, that uh, they are they can manage their brain health um, for, for the dementia. So it's a AA powered a humanless uh, dementia screening solution called Altwin. And uh, the VR powered uh, brain stimulation solution is for the people uh, after they visit the hospital and get diagnosed with, uh, especially the dementia or depression. Um, and, uh, and the people who, who haven't gone to the hospitals that uh, we are actually expanding onto that field as well. So <clears throat> with that said, I'm just going to briefly go over our company. Uh, we are working with uh, um, the, the neighbor or, or investor as well as, well as uh, the, the, the local government and uh, um, and uh, we're working with uh, life insurance companies such as Samsung and uh, the Cigna, we're working with uh, pharmaceutical companies such as uh, Azi and uh, GC Green Cross. And uh, we have attained about uh, nine patents uh, internal, internationally. And uh, we have, uh, so we are going to be receiving the CS 2023 uh, Innovation Award and uh, uh, we're going to be uh, expanding our uh, services to the States and to Japan and China uh, the next year. Um, so first on Altwin. So um, with the aging, the, the one of the fastest rising cause of death uh, in the United States and actually to the globe uh, is dementia. It's, uh, it's, uh, for the last 20 years, the, 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 the cause of death, according to the Alzheimer's disease has written, has, 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 has grown to about 140 percent, and uh, the dementia cases will rise even further. I mean, they, they will uh, build double in the next 30 years. And uh, um, people think that uh, that there is no 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 cure for the dementia, but then it's actually not true. Uh, for, there are about 70 causes for dementia, and uh, 20 to 30 percent of that can be treated if they find if they can actually. Uh, find Oli um, and, and start treating Oli. Uh, but then for the for the diseases, for the causes that are not uh, uh, curable, such as Alzheimer's disease, uh, if you find it Oli, then you can uh, start uh, the medication process and then you can actually slow down the progression of the disease. And the Alzheimer's Association um, estimates the cost savings of that to be about 7 trillion US dollars. So finding an Oli, uh, Oli diagnosis is very important for dementia. However, about 91% of your seniors with potential dementia, they are not, they are not diagnosed. Um, it's, it's not 9%, it's 91%. Um, and why is that? It's because self-diagnosis is very difficult for dementia. And second, that the healthcare system is not favorable uh, for, the, for the disease such as dementia. And there is no routine brain checkup system uh, to actually see uh, how, they are, how you, your brain is doing. Um, so uh, we think that the, we actually need a system where it's going to be very easy, accessible, and where, where you can take it as a routine basis test uh, to actually transform this system. And that's where we think Altrin can fit in. Um, Altrin is a uh, AI-powered uh, dementia screening solution using two abilities. Uh, first is the bubble fluency. And uh, second is a semantic memory. Those are the two abilities that are impacted from the early stage of dementia. And uh, how we do it, that's, uh, just as you see it on the screen, um, it's simply done uh, for a, a, a user will just speak to any, any smartphone, any, any smart device with a, um, with a mic and a, and a speaker, and then uh, answer to a question uh, for about a minute. And then the, our AI system will analyze a person's uh, voice data and uh, using uh, both uh, the voice marker as well as the two abilities that we have mentioned, will come up with a score. And then the, um, that, that person uh, will be judged uh, whether this person has uh, a mild cognitive impairment or worse, or if they're healthy. 
So it's, it's a very easy task. So it's a bubble fluency task. So you don't need any uh, additional device. Uh, you don't need a separate device, but then uh, you just need a device where you can actually speak to a device. And if you can hear your, your voice and uh, we can actually do the task. Um, and uh, it's, it's the text takes about a minute. So it's a, it's a, it's a one minute uh, like a run of your brain. And uh, we, we, we analyze your brain score and uh, come up with the decision. And it's a, it's a humanless um, the, this, uh, software, so you don't need a doctor's time. Uh, you, you, you can take it anytime and anywhere. Um, as you have mentioned, it's a very accessible test. Uh, you can uh, you don't need a separate device for it, uh, and you it, because it's a digital solution, you can take it on a routine basis. Uh, and that uh, we have gone through about three peer uh, peer review publications and the clinical trials to prove its accuracy. And uh, the, I'm not going to bore you with the technology behind it, but then uh, we are using about uh, 20 key uh, metrics to uh, to measure your know, brain health, uh, including the clusters and uh, the, the switching. If you're interested, I'll introduce that later. What we are envisioning is that uh, we want to uh, manage your brain health when you're healthy, because when you're healthy, you don't actually don't need to go to the system, uh, don't need to uh, use the expensive uh, healthcare system. However, uh, when it goes down, when or if there is a sudden change to brain health, uh, we want to uh, partner you up uh, with the, the payers such as hosp uh, hospitals and, and insurance companies or whatnot, uh, so that uh, you can respond as early as possible, so that 91% will be reduced to uh, much, much further down. And uh, what we have proved in Asia is that, uh, that uh, this business model works. At the insurance, we're working with the insurance companies. Uh, they, they like our solution because they can provide it to their uh, the users. Uh, we're working with the small and the large and the big hospitals um, that, that it has proved that, that it's increasing the paid visits. And that uh, we're working with the pharmaceutical companies such as AGI uh, and the GC Green Cross for big in the field of dementia. And uh, we're going to launching, we're going to be launching a consumer version the next year. So and uh, from the often uh, the on sentence, so the combination of the senior contents. Then the, we are this is a VR powered reminiscence therapy solution. So um, uh, what we're doing is that uh, there are about 70,000 uh, long-term care facilities in the United States. And uh, if you just search through uh, those uh, problems of that long-term care facilities, you're going to come up with uh, boredom and the loneliness. And, uh, we're, and it's really difficult for the long-term care facility to, to resolve because that, uh, that they need to be locked down into that facility, not really locked down into the facility, but then there are uh, truly be locked down into the facility. And, uh, and, and, and the seniors, they, they, they lack mobility. And um, so they, they have no choice but to provide the programs within the facility, but that there is only limited amount of uh, the activities that they can do within that limited facility. So that's why uh, we came up with a VR power solution where we can actually show them the world that are outside of the, the long-term care facility. And uh, we are using the elements of the reminiscent therapy, which are the non-medicinal, um, non uh, the treatment for dementia and depression. Um, and uh, so it actually unlocks the, the physical limitation of the seniors in the facility. Um, and it's, we provide a content, we, we change the contents every week. So it's very dynamic. And uh, we have proved that uh, it's increasing the happiness and the brain stimulation um, of the seniors. And uh, we have made the solutions to be very uh, senior friendly uh, user uh, UI and the UX. Um, and we have worked with the Seoul Metropolitan Government. We have won the Design Award, um, uh, but, uh, Asia Design Award uh, with this uh, uh, two months ago. Um, and uh, we're expanding our case uh, into to other, other facilities, uh, other, other governments other than Seoul. Um, and uh, uh, it has uh, proved that, that it's increasing the happiness level. It's, uh, it's, it, improving the word we call the brain stimulation effect and that's actually improving the breathing uh, the practice as well because after the, the remission therapy we, we um, provide a solution so that, that they can actually um, improve their breathing habits and uh, what we have proved is that it actually works in the home care system and uh, we are, we're, we're working with uh, the group care such as the, the, the long-term care facilities on the group care um, and uh, we're going to be launching a virtual class uh, the next year. So this is uh, what it is. Um, if you have any questions, um, 
I'll answer that to you. Thank you. Yeah, I, I have a question about the um, the uh, the dementia. So you mentioned that there are about 70 causes of dementia and 30% of them can be treated. Could you give us an example of like so, uh, a cause that can be treated versus one that's not treatable? Oh, yeah, yeah. There are 70 causes of dementia, but then 20 to 30% of the causes uh, can be treated if they find it fully. So there are uh, vascular problems. There are problems with uh, the diet issues. There are problems with um, uh, like the, 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 the problems that comes with the dementia, uh, depression. Um, so for, for those kind of causes, if you find it only, um, you can actually uh, treat the cause of the, the dementia and then, then you can be actually treated. Uh, for the rest of the, uh, the causes are uh, mainly by Alzheimer's, which takes up about 60 to 70 percent of the, the uh, dementia cases. Uh, if you find it only, if you start treating only, uh, that you can actually uh, slow down the progression of the disease. So in terms of diet, I mean, what, what's in the diet that could cause dementia? Uh, deficiency of uh, certain um, nutrition, um, mm -hmm. as well as uh, that uh, if they are not uh, eating right, so so if they are just consuming just one type of food um, and they are lacking, you know, mm -hmm. uh, such as let's say the minerals and the vitamins, um, and, uh, and yeah, it actually causes dementia. Got it. Very interesting. So my question is that uh, how does an app asking a question to an app tell that it had that you're you're developing dementia because i would guess that you could also uh well i had bell's palsy so i lost uh, part of my uh it's part of part of my face uh functionality of course stroke and then uh and then anything uh what's the other one um i just had it <laughs> it's gone uh an aneurysm or anything like that could probably mimic the same stuff uh, from a single question. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. So we are asking a question, and uh, that question is going to let's say that uh, it's it's, it's kind of like a we are measuring how you are uh, how your brain is uh, running, or like a, we ask your brain to do like a one minute CrossFit and measure how much that uh, you are doing, and then the, the question that you are throwing is on the on certain abilities that that it that impacts your temporal lobe, so which are the which which are the part of the brain that gets impacted from the early stage of dementia, and uh, so for example, that we ask a question on like uh, name as many as uh, the food that you eat, um, the names of the food, or the name as many uh, the animals um, as you can. Then uh, you're going to come up with you're going to be saying like uh, say um, the chicken uh, rabbits whatnot and and you're going to be you know um, um, the listing the names of the brain, uh, names of the animals but then while you're doing it um, for the first uh, for the first uh, thirty seconds uh, that the, your temporal lobe is very activated because you're going to be uh, trying to speed out the words and it's one of the abilities that are uh, that are highly uh, functional uh, through the temporal lobe which are the the, the, the very impacted from the early stage of uh, uh, dementia and uh, after that uh, you're going to be searching through different categories so let's say that you have uh, said something about the farm animals and you're going to be thinking that uh, the, the animals in the jungle so there are uh, Without you knowing that there are clusters of the words, uh, that there are the relevancy between the words, and, uh, and uh, for the for the people with the light dementia, that relevancy gets broken, that cluster gets broken. So how you say it, how the order of the things that you say, and then the clusters that you have throw out, and that the switching between those two clusters, between like uh, several clusters, and how many clusters that you can throw at, and uh, how many wrong question, uh, wrong answers that you give. And then the, if you're repeating um, the, the same words over and over again, uh, those are like uh, one of the, the 20 factors that, uh, that we use to, to estimate uh, your, your brain power. Uh, currently, we have done three clinical trials. Uh, we have done uh, on um, very mild uh, cognitive uh, the impairment uh, patient. Uh, uh, in a medical term, the CDR of 0.5. Uh, with, with that, uh, our accuracy is about uh, 86% uh, compared to about 2.5 hours of a very 
uh, uh, extensive uh, test. Um, and uh, it goes up to the 94% with uh, the CDR1, which is considered as a light dementia, pers uh, light dementia, uh, the, the patient. Okay, okay. One, one last question on that. I'm assuming that the, the question that you're asked changes on a regular basis. You don't get asked the right. same question twice, right? Right, right. All right. And then uh, once you once you recognize something, that's when that's when you're basically saying go to the doctor, because it could be dementia, but it could be something else too. Right. Uh, we have uh, in Korea, it's, uh, in Asia, we were working with uh, several uh, different types of partners with insurance companies. Uh, there are the ways that that want us to guide the customers to. Uh, with the hospitals, obviously, they, they want them to, you know, visit the hospitals uh, right away. Uh, with the pharmaceuticals, there are clinical trials that, that we're doing. And then, the, you know, the, the, they, they actually uh, uh, follow some procedures that, uh, that they actually set it. All right. Come say Thank you. Okay, so thanks for your presentation, uh, Mr. Lee, uh, from 7.1. Uh, on the next session, 